The Sahara Desert is one of the hottest and driest places on Earth, with an average annual rainfall of less than 25 mm and a surface temperature that can reach 50 degrees Celsius. It covers about 9 million square kilometers, or 10% of the African continent, and is home to about 2.5 million people who face severe water scarcity and food insecurity. The desert is also expanding southward at a rate of 48 kilometers per year, threatening the livelihoods of millions more in the Sahel region. However, the Sahara Desert also has a huge potential for renewable energy production, especially solar and wind power. The desert receives more than 4,000 kilowatt hours of solar radiation per square meter per year, which is about twice as much as in Europe or North America. The desert also has strong and consistent winds that can power turbines to generate electricity. Some researchers and innovators have proposed to use this abundant energy to create water from thin air in the desert, using solar-powered machines that can extract moisture from the atmosphere and condense it into liquid water. These machines could provide a sustainable and cost-effective solution for drought relief and desert greening, as well as for drinking water and irrigation. One example of such a machine is the water maker, developed by Dutch artist A. P. Verhegen and engineer Peter van Gelleven. The water maker consists of two separate devices, an energy unit, which draws and stores power from solar panels, and a water unit, which uses this energy to cool down a metal plate. Once the temperature of the metal plate is low enough, humidity in the air condenses against it, forming droplets that roll down into a collection tank. The water maker can produce up to 40 liters of water per day, depending on the humidity level and the solar radiation intensity. The device is designed to be modular, scalable and adaptable to different environments and needs. It can also be controlled remotely via a smartphone app. Another example of a solar-powered water machine is the Source Hydropanel, developed by Zero Mass Water, a US-based company. The Source Hydropanel is a self-contained system that uses solar energy to power a fan that draws in ambient air. The air then passes through a special material that absorbs water vapor. The water vapor is then released into a reservoir where it is mineralized and purified. The source hydropanel can produce up to 10 liters of water per day, depending on the humidity level and the solar radiation intensity. The device can also store up to 60 liters of water in its reservoir, which can be accessed via a tap or a dispenser. The device is designed to be easy to install, operate and maintain, and can work independently or in networks of multiple units. Both the water maker and the source hydropanel are examples of how solar-powered machines are making free water in the Sahara Desert, using only renewable energy in atmospheric moisture. These machines could have significant benefits for the people and the environment in the region, such as providing clean and safe drinking water for human consumption and hygiene, reducing the dependence on groundwater or surface water sources that are often scarce, polluted or overexploited, Enhancing food security and agricultural productivity by enabling irrigation and crop cultivation. Improving health and well-being by preventing dehydration, malnutrition and waterborne diseases. Mitigating climate change by reducing greenhouse gas emissions from fossil fuel-based water production and transportation. Promoting social and economic development by creating jobs, income and education opportunities. However, these machines also face some challenges and limitations, such as the high initial cost of installation and maintenance, the variability of solar radiation and humidity levels across different seasons and locations, the potential environmental impacts of land use change, water extraction and waste generation, the possible social conflicts over water access, ownership and distribution. Therefore, these machines should be used with caution and care, taking into account the local context and needs, as well as the ethical and legal implications. They should also be complemented by other measures to conserve water, such as rainwater harvesting, drip irrigation, wastewater recycling and demand management. Solar-powered machines are making free water in the Sahara Desert, but they are not a magic bullet.
They are part of a larger puzzle that requires holistic and integrated solutions to address the complex challenges of water scarcity and desertification in the region.